What is up guys? Welcome back to the Six Pack Bass channel. So today, believe it or not, I'm going to be bringing you a little bit of fishing content. I want to thank you guys so much for all of your support. I love that I can be able to bring multiple things to this channel and you guys support them. Um, as you know, I love to fish. I love sports. I love fitness. I like covering all of it. But today, this is going to be for my fishing fans out there. So went to Walmart the other day um, and typically my Walmart never has any fishing lures, equipment, um, tackle, tools, any of it on clearance. But lo and behold, I looked out. So I actually made out like a bandit in my opinion. So today's video, I just want to show you what all I was able to acquire from Walmart on clearance. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first up, let's dig through here. Picked up some terminal tackle. Um, so the first thing I got was these VMC wide gap four out hooks. Uh, I have never used VMC hooks before, so pretty interested to try this out. Um, of course, they have the resin closed eyes as well as they are offset. So I don't know if you can see that. I hope that it zooms in and it's not. But nonetheless, they are offset. Um, I think I got two packages of those. So that's the first up. And then we got some VMC worm hooks. These are three aught. So this is more of a straight shank almost right in there versus those wide gaps. But picked up two or three packages of those. Let me dig through here just to make sure. Yep. So then I got some more hooks. I got some Eagle Claw hooks. So again, four out worm hooks, and I ended up getting two packages of those, and then some five out wide gap hooks. So lots of hooks, and I think these were on clearance for like 75 cents, maybe a dollar a package. So definitely scarfed those up because you can never have too many hooks, as well as I wanted to try those VMC hooks, and with them being on clearance, that made them ideal for me. All right, next up. So, ended up with a lot of Strike King stuff in this one. So, first up, the Sexy Frog. This is a KVD frog, and this is in the green pumpkin with the pearl belly. So, I'm sure the reflection is going to kill me here. But, it's got a pearl-esque type belly. Green and white skirt, and then brown and black for the body with red eyes. Uh, huge frog fan. Love throwing the frog in the summertime in the pads. So definitely will be putting this guy to work. Um, don't remember how much it was, but like I said, everything was basically 50% off of what it normally is. And as you guys know, Strike King and KVD stuff is very, very expensive. So next up, my favorite find were these 3 8 Strike King spinner baits. This is a chartreuse. I'm getting a really bad glare. Let me see if I can change this up here for you guys. Maybe that's a little better. So, Willow Blade, Colorado Blade, 3 8 They do have, and I know it's hard to see, but they do have trailer hooks in those. Um, I have learned, I actually got two of these. I have learned that buying just one really does you no good because whenever it breaks off and you will get broken off, you have none. So the whole saying, one is none, two is some. I've applied that to fishing and when I can, I try to double up on the bait, especially if it's something that I like. I've learned now, don't just buy one, buy them in multiples, especially when they're 50% off because let's face it, who doesn't love discount baits? So, but let's continue on. Some more Strike King spinner baits. This one is in just a white color. Um, same setup, 3 8 ounce with the trailer hook. Um, I've never really used a trailer hook on any of my spinner baits, so kind of curious to see how this goes. Also not the biggest fan of the open eyelet there for the tie. Um, I much prefer a closed one, so like all of my bass thumb baits ones are like this here. They're closed, but we'll see how it goes. KVD spinner baits, 50% off, two different colors. Couldn't pass those guys up. So, on to the next thing. Like I said, most of this is going to be Strike King KVD. Um, that's kind of what was on sale, and 
when Strike King's on sale, I scarf it up. All right, so next up, I've got Strike King crankbait. This is the 5XD. This is in Sexy Shad. Um, and as you will notice, there will be a theme. I'm trying to make this so you can see this better. There will be a theme with all of these crankbaits, or a lot of these crankbaits. Sexy Shad, I guess, seemed to be the color that was on clearance. Um, so not all of the stuff was on clearance. It was just particular colors. But this is extra deep crankbait. Dives down to, or it's rated at 15 feet. So I'm definitely interested to see how this bad boy works. Nice little rattle. This is probably one of the more deeper diving crankbaits that I own, especially being a bank fisherman. These 15 footers, I mean, there's really not any spot on the bank for me to use them. But nonetheless, had to pick it up 50% off. And I actually, I think I got, yep, got two of those guys. So next up, and just continuing along with that sexy shad theme, the old KVD 1.5s. So I love throwing a square bill, um, especially the KVD 1.5s. So again, had to pick these guys up. I bought every single one that was left on the rack and I ended up with one, two, three, three of them. So three KVD 1.5 Sexy Shad. All right, up next. Staying with the Strike King theme, another classic, the Red Eye Shad. So, lipless crankbait, this is in the Delta Red, and as you can see, that nice, huge red eye there, hence the name Red Eye Shad. Nice little rattle, and of course, with this, I bought every single one that they had on the rack. Three of those bad boys. I think these ended up being like three bucks, and normally they're close to six. So, like I said, couldn't pass it up. And those are half ounce, by the way, on those. Sticking with that red-eyed shad theme, they also had the sexy shad color on clearance as well. And this one, I am really excited about that. Looks good right there, guys. And same, I bought the last three that they had. Half ounce on those as well. Next up, so this next thing, I got it because it was all of a dollar and I actually don't have any in my tackle box and I really have been wanting to try them. I fished them a bunch whenever I was a kid, but for whatever reason through the years, you know, I lost the tackle, can't find it. And that is this blade bait right here. It's Johnson Thin Fisher blade bait. Um, this is a half ounce. This is a good wintertime bait. I really, really, really excited to pick this up. Um, I wish that they would have had more. This was the only one, or I would have picked up a couple of these guys. Um, but nonetheless, Johnson Thin Fish Blade Bait. Next up, that's all the hard baits. We're moving on to the soft plastics now. So, Zoom Trailers. These are the Split Tail Trailer. This is in Silver Rainbow, which I'm gonna take one of these out. Um, a few weeks back previous, I actually picked up from Walmart again, the same trailers, but in that chartreuse color. These are gonna be great to throw on those spinner baits. So let me dig one of these out here and just show you what it is. So it's got that nice split tail there, almost like a little grub there. And like I said, this one is in, getting bad glare there. This one is in rainbow, silver rainbow. So pick those up. I think these were all of a dollar as well. The chartreuse ones were 75 cents whenever I got them. So I had, this is the only bag they had of these. So I had to pick up those chartreuse ones as well. Let me show you that real quick. Same concept, split tail in chartreuse. And like I said, it's just a standard trailer that you can really throw on anything. I plan on throwing them on my spinner baits. In fact, I've got one right here. This is a bass thumb spinner bait, but I've got it rigged up right there to match. All right, so now I'm down to my last two items here. And sticking with that Zoom theme, this is the old monster. This is in Junebug Red. 
And these, I believe, were $2 a package, but it's just your old ribbon tail worm. And as you can see, it's got that nice purple and red June bug bit to it. But I am super pumped to throw this fat worm. This is going to be a big bass catcher right here. So I picked up a package of those in June bug red, as well as they have these on clearance. For three dollars, old monster plum apple, ten and a half inch worm, and this bad daddy right here, like I said, will be a big bass catcher. I'm excited to throw these. So that was my Walmart haul. Um, I think that I made out quite well. Um, like I said, Strike King. I rarely am able to find anything on clearance at Walmart, much less Strike King. So I had to jump on those, especially those crankbaits and spinnerbaits. Um, that's probably my two favorite lures to throw of all time um, outside of a frog. But crankbait, spinnerbait, I can use those year round and they will definitely be put to good use. So guys, I have a lot coming down the pipe, especially for my fishing family. Um, of course, you know spring is right around the corner, but I have acquired some new equipment that I cannot wait to show you guys. Plus, got a new GoPro for Christmas, so I can't wait to bust that out and actually use it. I appreciate your support so, so much, guys. Um, if you're not already, be sure and do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, that way you know when my next video comes out. If you wanna see more kind of tackle unboxing type videos, be sure and hit the like button. Also, let me know down in the comments, what type of fishing content do you wanna see? I promise I plan on getting on some fish here in the next few weeks. Like I said, spring being right around the corner. As it warms up, the fish are gonna be popping and I wanna be out there on them. Um, but that's all I got for this one today, guys. Again, thank you for all of your support. I'm out.